Okay, so here we're doing, um, oh, sorry, it's not scrolling down for me. There we go, surface area of spheres. So this is in our topics or our lessons. This is lesson six. Or math uh, 20-3. So, spheres are a nice one where we get a formula for our surface area. So, our surface area of a sphere can be calculated with 4 pi r squared. Where, of course, r is the radius. Um, and um, uh, we're... Uh, you, you can click on this uh, link here. I don't know if it's going to be active from the video that you're watching, but in your um, note package, you can clip this video. Uh, in class, we'll actually watch that video together, and it shows how this formula is derived using uh, an orange. Okay? Um, so... Uh, it, it would be, if you want to go see that, you can go do that now. Um, or you can just be confident and use this um, formula. So, if we have a sphere, which is a round ball, right? This is like a ball or a globe, okay? We're going to calculate the surface area for each sphere. Uh, and and hemisphere, a hemisphere would be half a sphere. So we'd have to do something tricky with the hemisphere. And we're gonna round to the nearest hundredth. So let's take number, uh, letter A, sorry. So we have, here we have our radius is three feet. So we take our formula, surface area is equal to four pi r squared. And, uh, and it's area, so r would actually have to be squared, right? So it'll be 4 pi, r is 3 squared. We multiply that, we get 113.097 dot dot dot, and it's to the nearest hundredth. So we're going to round that to 113.10 feet. Oh, and feet squared because it is area, surface area, so we, the units are squared. So you may notice that it went, you're saying, why is it not 0 0.09? Well, that seven is greater than nine, or greater than five, so it's gonna round the nine up to the one, okay, the 10, sorry. Let's do another one. Um, and now in this one, we have the diameter, right? So remember, radius is equal to the diameter divided by two, so the radius will be 12 divided by two, which is six centimeters, okay? So we have to find that first before we substitute in the formula. So surface area is four pi r squared. So it's four times pi times six squared. And we'll get 452.3893 3 centimeters squared. We're going to round that to the nearest hundredth, 452.39 centimeters squared. So that would be our answer. So as I like with a formula, it's kind of delightful, isn't it? Now, what happens when we have a hemisphere? Now, if, for example, we have a hemisphere that doesn't have a circular bottom, so say we're talking about a fruit bowl. So the bowl, it's not finished on the top, right? So we don't have, that, we don't worry about this area here because it doesn't have the bottom. So all we have to do is we have to take half of our surface area because we only have half of a globe. So surface area will be 4 pi r squared over 2. So we, we basically divide it by 2 because there's only half of it. Of it. Okay? So by dividing it 2, we're taking half of that value, right? So 
let's substitute in surface area equals. Well, look at what happens. 4 divided by 2 will leave me with a 2 there. So I'll get 2 pi r squared. So that will be 2 times pi r is 10. So we substitute that in. And we will get, when we punch that in, 628.3185. Now it wants us to round to the nearest hundredths. So 628.32 centimeters squared. And that would be our answer. Now, sometimes you might have a hemisphere that does have a circular bottom. So for example, say you have an orange, you've cut an orange in half. In that case, you have the whole thing. So you have to think about that circle. So we're going to have our half a sphere plus the area of the circle. Okay, so surface area will be 4 pi r squared divided by 2, that's our half sphere, plus we've got the circular surface, which would be pi r squared. Now we can divide this out, we'll get our 2, and if you think about it, I have 2 pi r squared here and pi r squared there, so I have 3 pi r squared. So I can substitute in my 10 for my radius, and I'm going to get 942.48 centimeters squared. And that's already rounded to the hundredth. Okay? Now you could have substituted, just a note about that. You could have just substituted in back at this step here. That's fine, so that you're adding together. Um, but you can add them together because they are the same uh, basic variable. So it depends on which you're more comfortable with. Um, either way, you would get the same answer, okay? So feel free to do it whichever way you're more comfortable with. Okay, another practice question. The circumference of a spherical storage tank, this is uh, tongue twisters for Mrs. Finley, circumference of a spherical storage tank, yep, yeah, is 50 meters. What is the surface area of the tank to the nearest whole meter? So we have our storage tank, right? So it's a spherical storage tank and its circumference, so the distance around is 50 meters. So we have to think about how do we find out what our radius is. So first, find the radius. Now remember back, this is why we warmed up with circles. Circumference of a circle is 2 pi r. We know that the circumference is 50 meters. So it's equal to 2 pi r. So if we divide both sides by 2 pi, on this side, it's going to cancel out. And we'll be left with r. So r will be, so that tells us that r equals 50 over 2 pi. When we substitute in, or when we uh, divide through, I will get a value of r of 7.9577747. Uh, Pretty long. We'll keep it for now. Doesn't hurt us. Now that we have the radius, we just substitute it into our surface area which is 4 pi r squared. So 4 times pi times 7.957747 squared. Your calculator is going to do that work for you, so don't worry about all those dec decimal places. Um, when I multiply, I get 795.0. Is that what I get? Wow. 7. Point nine five seven seven four seven squared times four times pi. I do, I get seven nine five 
seven, seven meters squared. And I'm gonna round that to the nearest whole meters squared. So that's what it says. So seven, nine, six meters squared. Okay. Interesting. That's a very, I, 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 the, the numbers fascinated me because of what turned out, but that's just math teacher fascination with certain numbers. Okay. So the big thing with this one is we had to find the radius, right? We don't know what the radius is. So we had to find that first before we could find the surface area because the radius was missing. Okay. So it's just using that formula for circumference to find our radius. And then once we have our radius, we can find our surface area. Okay. Well, now you've got a little practice to do. Again, it's always nice when there's a formula to lead the way. Um, and later today, we'll be doing volume of spheres. And I bet you there's a formula. <laughs>